Good morning. I'm Dr. Power, the headmaster here at St. Anselm's Abbey School, and I want to send this short welcome video out to all the students. Uh, I realize distance learning is not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, it's a little bit like trying to eat ice cream through a straw. You get some nutritional value, but it's nowhere near the same experience, and we all understand that and look forward to a time when we can all be back together on campus. This morning, I'd just like to tell you a quick story, a story I shared with some of my colleagues last week, and it goes like this. Uh, my friend Kirk's a teacher. He was driving through a very dangerous town very late at night when from out of nowhere, a naked man brandishing a tire iron jumped in front of his car. Kirk, being of sound mind and body, steered around the, the naked man and drove off, but he didn't drive away too far. He hit the brakes and went back, and he told the man that if he dropped the tire iron and wrapped the blanket around him that he had in his back seat, he would take him to the police station. The naked man obliged, and along the way, Kirk learned the backstory, which was this. It had been a very hot night, and the man had been sleeping in his birthday suit. By the way, pajamas are always appropriate. When his roommate came in, who had been having some sort of reaction to a drug overdose, and began beating him with the tire iron, the naked man grabbed the tire iron out of his roommate's hand and ran out into the street, just as Kirk was pulling up in his car. When Kirk was later asked why he stopped at that time, at that dangerous place, at that hour, he said, I didn't stop because of some abstract principle. I stopped because the hero of the story I believe in said, clothe the naked. That's what hit me in the moment. I share this story because all of our lives are stories. We're all the protagonists in our own little novel. And right now we're hitting some adversity. Distance learning may be just a small part of the adversity you're dealing with. I guess my point this morning is don't be discouraged. Think long-term, big picture. Think about the heroes who are out there. Think about how we might imitate them even in the moment. And I guess even if we can't be heroic, let's start off this year trying to be our very best versions of ourselves. Anyway, enough from me. Thanks for listening. I really look forward to seeing you all back on campus as soon as possible. Thanks again.